Sabiel, you're chasing a story about a Marine Corps veteran who was denied entrance to Six Flags Great Adventure in New Jersey because of a t-shirt he was wearing. What do you got? Mario Alejandro went to Six Flags with his three kids, his wife, just expecting to have some good, a good time. He's an Iraq war veteran, and that's the last place, Six Flags, he thought he would have some problems. Well, what happened was he was denied admission by a security guard based off of his T-shirt. And you can see his T-shirt right here. It says, keep calm and return fire. And on the back of it, it says the Reconnaissance Foundation. The security guard told him that his T-shirt was offensive and therefore he could not be admitted to the Six Flags Park according to their dress code. He then explained to the security guard that he is an Iraq veteran. I went in September 11th, after September 11th, and I actually left school to join. So, you know, that says a lot. A lot of people don't do that. I wasn't drafted. You know, I went in on my own, my own will to right. do what's right. I bet you if this happened right after September 11th, let's say, you know, October during Fright Fest, and I was wearing this shirt, we wouldn't be having this issue right now. So he explained this to the security guard and was told, quote, and this is what he says security guard said, I don't care. I earned the right to wear this shirt. Anybody seeing this shirt can associate military. Can I see it? It associates with military. And the slogan, keep calm and return fire, any Marine Corps infantryman knows and understands. When you are under pressure, under fire, it is your duty to, to, to realize what's going on, where the chaos is around you, and return your fire and still do your job. Six Flags put out a statement when, this, when there was some outrage about the way he was treated, and the first statement that Six Flags put out said this, quote, this matter is under review. Our dress code does not permit clothing with vulgar, offensive, or violent language or images. But if you go to Six Flags, you'll see that there are people wearing all kinds of clothing. Um, there are even women who are scantily clad, and that doesn't seem to be an issue. Six Flags then came out with a new updated statement that said, quote, we do not allow guests to wear t-shirts with images of assault rifles in our park. So suddenly, the statement was, it was the rifle that was the issue on his So this was their statement, not their written policy prior to this. For him, the t-shirt represents the service that he's done for this country. He actually did fight for our First Amendment rights. He actually was abroad fighting, holding a weapon. And when they were heading over there, his wife was like, oh, everyone's going to stop us because they're going to love your t-shirt. And the exact opposite happened. Do you know of off the bat that he's a Marine, though? When I first see this, he the shirt's going to take he me a it but is he going to walk guard. and explain? to every single person that is at Six Flags and does that? I don't know automatically looking at the shirt that, oh, this guy's a Marine, it's okay. Well, he I explained to the security guard that he is a Marine and the park still did not let him in. It seems like the issue here is his the treatment. I, I respect his service and I think the issue is here is how he was treated as a Marine. Yes, they wouldn't let him in with a t-shirt with a rifle on it, but they have events like Fright Fest where people have these fake weapons walking around. So some people might consider that offensive or not. So there, there is some double standard going on here with Six Flags. Maybe it's just time we keep calm and respect free speech.